So that was the remains of a mosquito fish that I found in this aquarium, just to tell. Um, before that, I came home and I found one of these tilapia. I had two of them. The larger one I came home and found them ripped in half. And then before that, I had a bristlenose pleco I found with the whole top part of his head eaten out. So three deaths, all of them vicious. Who's the suspect? Hey everyone, this is DWS Darius and welcome to another day in the fish room. Really quickly, one of you guys wanted to see my jumbo clown loach out and about. Let's see how close we could get. There you go, jumbo clown loach, 12 inches long. I'd say three and a half inches wide and maybe four inches tall. A beast. So yeah, we have some brutal crimes occurring in this aquarium and I want to get to the bottom of it. So first off, let's do the process of elimination of who is capable of committing such crimes. Killing those fish and tearing them up the way they were torn up, the way I found them. So first off, of course, it's not going to be these mosquito fish. Although they can be aggressive towards each other, no way are these guys going to rip another fish in half. Um, then we have this tilapia. Tilapia, from my experience, very um, not aggressive fish. I can't say they're peaceful, they're just not as aggressive as most cichlids and I definitely don't believe that they're capable of doing such a thing. I have three adults in this aquarium. While they are very greedy fish, never have they ever attempted to eat another fish. So I definitely don't believe it's this little guy. Then we have these red devils. We have this beast over here. Um, I've had this guy all his life. One thing I know is that this guy does not like killing small fish. He loves to kill big fish, but when it comes to these small guys, he has no interest. So he just sits right here behind his rock. And then we have the female, similar situation. She stays behind there. She does come out more, but when she is out, she swims around these guys, shows no interest towards these little guys. So it's not her. And that leaves us with two other fish. Both of them are the same species and they happen to be hybrids, hybrids of some of the most aggressive species in the world, the dovi and the jaguar. These are jagovi. The mother was a dovi, the father was a jaguar. I have two of them, one right here. The other one, hard to get on camera, stays under this rock. Now with these two, even though they're siblings, they don't look identical. We have this one that kind of looks like a regular jaguar. The only difference is that compared to regular jaguars, this one does have some spots on the stomach, as you can see. But this one I find to be less aggressive. She spends a lot of time with the tilapia. Look at that. The tilapia chased her away. And that's the reason why I believe that one is a female because females generally are not as aggressive and they grow a little bit slower. And I'm seeing that with this one. You saw the tilapia just chased her. Um, she's up here hiding. And um, yeah, I believe she's a female. Now this one over here, so that one over here was about one inch. And she spends a lot of time with the tilapia as I told you. Look, she's, I can't keep up with these fish, but right now she's being chased. This is her up here. She was just being chased by the other one who looks nothing like her. Now the other one is underneath this rock. He claimed this whole rock as his territory. Um, he's all black in color. And I believe that just shows how smart he is because in this tank we have the dark substrate. We have the black background. And this fish is all black because it's better camouflage. This is kind of like um, if you ever saw Jurassic World they made that smart dinosaur that was just outsmarting everybody. He was able to camouflage with all his situations. I believe I have a similar situation with this guy. Now I've been at this tank now for about a half an hour trying to get footage and I can't get any of this fish because he's just so smart compared to his sister who's up here and I can get all the footage I want because she's always out. Now I do believe that this is a male one because of the aggression. I find this guy attacking the tilapia all the time. Um, non-stop harassing his sister. I believe the sister is more afraid of him than she is of me. That's the reason why I always get her on camera because she's not afraid of me or at least she's not as, as afraid of me as much as she's afraid of her brother. But yeah, he stays in there. He knows how to move around without being seen. He knows how to build his rank in a hierarchy without me noticing it. And you can see he's right there. Look how smart he moves. He moves in the shadows. And he's about an inch and a half to two inches. A very smart fish. And I do believe he's the one who killed those three fish. So with that being said, I don't want to leave him in this aquarium. One, because 
I definitely don't want to lose this tilapia. I do believe that this one could be a male. I had three females in the other tank, and if this one is a male, I could definitely get babies from them. So I definitely want him to live. On top of that, I want these guppies, these mosquito fish to live as well, because so far they are the entertainment of the aquarium. The main fish were supposed to be these red devils, but you see, this is what they do all day. So these um, guppies, I definitely, definitely enjoy their presence in this aquarium, and I definitely don't want to lose them. So that means I have to move this, this male. I believe that the female, she's not as bad. She's um, behaving like a normal jaguar. I don't know where she's at right now. But like I said, from my experience, females are definitely not as aggressive as males. So maybe I can keep the female in a community, but this male, he is um, a monster. Now, of course, the way things work out, I just had an empty tank the other day, but I went and turned it into a goldfish aquarium. So um, I'm not gonna go ahead and take these guys out because I already dedicated the tank for them. So that means I have to find a different tank for this aggressive Jagovi. And the only other option when you consider all my other aquariums is gonna be this tank. Now, currently in this tank, I had a pair of convicts, which were doing awesome. I had Mel, the female, and then all these babies. And I told you guys at one point, this was my favorite aquarium just because um, that response that I get from the male. But I am willing to um, end this because that fish up there is bound to kill more as he gets bigger and becomes smarter, I guess. And these guys, um, I've been speaking to some people. I spoke to one guy on Instagram who's famous for his convicts. He has some of the best convicts I've seen in the world. His convicts are a decent size and they all have nuchal humps. And it's because he doesn't breed them. Because when you breed them, it takes a lot out of them, especially the females, but it takes a lot out of them, it takes a lot of energy and they're not able to grow as big and as fast. So I'm thinking maybe I could take these guys out, the male and the female. I'll put them, I would like to put them upstairs in my 210 because that tank is just thriving. But this guy may have problems with my other male, so I don't want to do that. So instead I'm going to go ahead, or I want to go ahead and put them in this aquarium. And what I would do is I would move these rocks over here, make this one big hideout for them, and they will live in here. Like I said, the red devil, he doesn't really mind small fish, he only has a problem with big fish. So I believe if I was to bring the convicts up here, they would host this section. I don't think they would do any breeding because convicts only breed when they know that they're able to raise the fry. Um, the male definitely won't be able to defend himself against the, this guy if he ever got crazy. So no way I believe they will breed in this aquarium, which will allow them to grow bigger, stronger, and just become more presentable fish. Then eventually, long term with my convicts, I will have six of them all together. I have those two, then I have four more upstairs. When I convert this into a smaller community, I would like to have those convicts, all of them, in this tank, nice and big, showing their full potential. So that's my hope for the convict. And what that will leave us with is with that crazy Jagovi in this tank with all these babies. And of course, you know what happens next when I add the Jaguar Dovi to this aquarium. He will go around and he will hunt every single fry in this aquarium and kill them all, eat them all. The good news is that they are all small enough to be swallowed whole, so you don't have to worry about any of them suffering. I do believe that the fish that were killed in this tank, they suffered because he like ripped them in half. You know, a fish can be ripped in half and still will live for a few minutes. So none of these fish will suffer because it's all going to be quick deaths. Now I know some of you guys may not like that idea, but remember that the reason why I'm growing out these convicts in the first place, the reason, reason why I'm breeding them is for feeders for my peacock bass. Now my peacock bass, I am training them to eat raw fish, so eventually I won't need these guys. So that's the reason why I'm willing to sacrifice them for the Jaguar Dovi. And that's the reason why I'm making this video instead of actually doing it. Normally I would do it and show you guys afterward, but I'm making this video before just to get you guys' opinions. So in the card, I'll have like a little poll that you guys could take. Um, should I put the Dovi Jaguar hybrid into this aquarium and let them eat all the babies or bring the convicts up here? Or should I leave everything as is and eventually try to figure out somewhere else to put that Jaguar Dovi? Maybe when I run out of those feeders, I could do something with that aquarium, but that's gonna take some time. So of course, I want you guys to be practical, look at the pros and cons. This Jaguar Dovi is a predator, and my intent long-term is to make him a solo pet. And if I put him in this aquarium by himself, it definitely heightens the chances of me just building that bond with him. The same way I have this 
like relationship with this guy it would be a little bit more intense with that Jaguar Dovi because so far he is smart right now he's in the community so he's using his smartness to um, gain a place in a hierarchy but if I put him down there he's going to use his smartness to interact with me and um, that could be really awesome and then the cons is that um, all these guys are dead but of course remember these guys were intended for fish food anyway so yeah everyone cast your vote what should I do with this guy he's already killed three fish in this video you didn't even get a good look at him because he's outsmarting me he's outsmarting the camera and I can't get him on camera um, what should I do with this Jaguar Dovi? Should I put him in there? Yes or no? Let me know in the card section above. As for the female who's over here, I'm definitely not going to put her with the male because he's definitely going to kill her. So she's probably going to stay up here. And so far she definitely is not as aggressive. Like I said, like I showed you earlier, the tilapia is able to bully her. And if this guy is able to bully her, you know that she's um, not too bad because these tilapia are just not that aggressive of a fish. So hey everyone, another day in a life. Um, let me know what you guys would do in such a situation. That's the reason why I'm making a video. Once again, normally I would have did it and then showed you guys the results. This time I want your advice. Let me know in the card section. Um, cast your vote and uh, we'll see where we go from there. Anyways, thank you guys for taking the time to watch this video. Hope you enjoyed and I'll catch you guys on the next one.